ألقى سمو الشيخ ناصر بن حمد آل خليفة ممثل جلالة الملك للأعمال الخيرية وشؤون الشباب رئيس المجلس الأعلى للشباب والرياضة رئيس اللجنة الأولمبية البحرينية ألقى كلمة في افتتاح أعمال الجمعية العمومية للاتحاد الدولي لكرة القدم الفيفا وذلك بحضور رئيس الاتحاد الدولي السيد جياني انفانتينو ورئيس الاتحاد الاسيوي لكرة القدم معالي الشيخ سلمان بن ابراهيم ال خليفه ورؤساء الاتحادات القاريه والاتحادات الكرويه واعضاء مجلس الفيفا وعبر سموه عن اعتزاز مملكه البحرين ملكا وحكومه وشعبا باستضافه هذا الاجتماع الهام على ارض المملكه مقدما الشكر والتقدير لاتحاد الفيفا لاتاحه الفرصه لاستضافه اعظم العقول من مقرري السياسات وصانعي كره القدم على ارض البحرين والذي يضيف بعدا اخر الى الرؤيه الوطنيه لاستضافه ودعم الحركه الرياضيه العالميه بجميع اشكالها بما فيها كره القدم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Distinguished FIFA President Mr. Gianni Infantino Sheikh Salman bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa President of the Asian Football Confederation Confederation Presidents FIFA Council Members FIFA Member Associations Distinguished Guests Members of the Media Ladies and Gentlemen السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. It gives me a great pleasure to welcome you today on behalf of His Majesty and my fellow Bahraini men and women to our country. This is a monumental day for our nation as we host the global football family under one roof. We do thank the FIFA for providing us with the opportunity to gather the greatest minds of policy makers and shapers of the football today in Bahrain. This adds another dimension to our national vision to be an island that hosts and supports, organizes, develops, and participates in success of the global sport movement in all its form. Developing the sports sector with its various components is not only a formal mandate, that I am honored to undertake, but also one of my personal missions that I hold near and dear to my heart. I believe I don't speak only on my behalf when I say that from early childhood, sports presented the first encounter with impact and challenges of teamwork, how to form a united front despite having diverse backgrounds and abilities and more importantly how to accept and recognize the strengths and weaknesses of the individuals and the team as a whole as the years pass sports have grown to become an indispensable uh, part of our lives and at times the best icebreaker this enabled us to grow with an even ever more appreciation from the tremendous role diversity fair play and tolerance play as ensuring sports remain a force for good historically sports such as falconry horse racing and camel racing have been a strong aspect of our tradition and culture as a nation evolving over centuries from means of survival to developed sports practices and more recently as well preserved intangible cultural heritage of humanity with the support of the UNESCO. With the development of our modern state in the 19th century, our leadership has advocated the value of sport in transforming communities, bringing them together and introducing positive social change. As a result, we have been encouraged and empowered as officials, sportsmen and women, and even sports enthusiasts to be champions for sport. In Bahrain, we don't dream small, we dream big. This year, Bahrain held its 13th edition of the F1 Grand Prix. In 2004, Bahrain was the first country in the region to have a F1 Grand Prix organized on its soil. But in 2016, our very own Bahraini F1 organizers were in Baku exporting our robust know-how in organizing a world-class race. 
As we speak in the Congress right now, Bahrain Merida team, the first pro cycling team from the region, is competing in the Giro d'Italia. I had to do that to make it more Italian. With the eyes of our local cycling talents on Nibali and his colleagues as a source of inspiration, our Bahrain Endurance 13 triathlon team continues to conquer more races around the global and help us develop homegrown, world-class triathletes. And most notably, our athletes have grabbed the highest number of gold medals from the region in the Rio Olympics. Having said that, football, no doubt, remains the sport that colors every Bahraini. Passions for football are not only peaking during local leagues, Gulf Cups, regional tournaments, and the World Cup, but also during local leagues in other continents. Such passions must be utilized. This is why we wholeheartedly support FIFA's and the AFC's vision for the future to enhance football's role as a powerful tool for social development and inclusion. On a competitive level, we take pride in our women's national football team, the first female football team from the region. Since its formal inception, the team has gone a long way and made history in 2014 as the first female team from the region to play against a European team. We support them and admire them as they continue to shatter cultural misconceptions whilst furthering their international reach. Our men's national team continues to learn from its various local, regional, and international expertise. We still remember vividly 2006 and 2010 when our national team was one goal away from the World Cup in the international playoffs. If any Kiwi is here, I'm going to have a talk outside. With the new introduction of a 48-team FIFA World Cup, we remain more hopeful than ever of future opportunities of our national team and other aspiring nations around the world to reach the World Cup. Mr. President, distinguished guests, it is a privilege for the Kingdom of Bahrain to become a meeting place in 2017 for the masterminds behind global football. My message to you as sports administrators is to encourage joint projects and cross-continental efforts. Let's widen participation and turn football into a true catalyst for diversity, tolerance, and excellence. In 2022, the FIFA World Cup, inshallah, will be hosted for the first time in the Middle East. The whole region will be buzzing with anticipation and enthusiasm. I turn my fellow football enthusiasts and urge them to benefit from the beauty of football that stems from its ability to transform you as individual every step of the way, whether you win or lose. In football, you learn by playing, so let's play. We hope that you all enjoy and enjoyed your time in Bahrain, and you will come and visit us again soon, inshallah. Thank you very much, wa shukran.